Alright guys, here's Cricket and a charity build. I finally get to see her now that she's she's had it a little while and uh, it's definitely got its use from what I understand. It's holding up pretty well. Has a few issues, but it's nothing major. Nothing that our little master apprentice there that came and helped to build it. I don't think it's anything that she can't handle. So now that she's used it a little bit, we're gonna uh, we're just gonna do a walk around video of it and uh, see how it's holding up. Go First ahead. of all, I just want to say thank you. This has been such an amazing blessing to have. I have enjoyed every minute of this. It's just made life so much more fun. It's a donation. I know uh, somebody asked for pictures of it and whatnot installed. So here you go. You can take a screenshot of it. Looks like it's holding up pretty well. I polyed it. And there's the other one. And here's her little travel adventures and the things that she's got planned. She went ahead and painted the, the rims red which i think look great i think he, I, that adds a lot to it, it. it brings out it brings out the the the, the red in the stripe it pulls it all together there she's holding up pretty good it looks like oh it's doing great and i did a couple little mods ah, i got a disco ball <laughs> excellent it's holding up really then, nice okay if you come to this side yeah, we replaced the screens with thicker screens so she couldn't get through as easy. But I wanted to show you that I, I hung our first cut. So when we did the first cut... So when we did the first cut, we marked it. And that was a radius from the front. So when we made the first cut, that's what we did. And she, she wanted to have it as a memento. So this actually goes right Yeah, there. it's like right in there, exactly. So that's why it's hung right I there. I like to see that. That's awesome. So she's got it looking pretty good. Still holding up really nice. Home sweet home. Here she's got an awning for it now that goes over the top. She's even got a roof thing to cover her fan so she can open it up. This is a different design but i like it actually did it work well it works great major issues nothing that we couldn't bypass uh i i've slept comfortable it's rained non-stop since i left michigan and i've not had any leaks minus the not covering the fan one night right right and other than that it's just been so much fun it's really been a joy to have well you keep enjoying it and thanks for coming to the to the gathering This is John from Louisiana. This is his build, one of two that he's built. This, the, they call this the Dragon Layer. And I'm sure you've seen this in the group a lot. And he's going to give you the 10 cent tour. So <laughs> here it comes. This is, uh, this is the lair. And um, Dragon is the theme. My wife, uh, Melody, did the artwork. And we had a, a wrap made up for it uh, as the dragon. Uh, the, the awning is an on wing. Uh, it is in the shape of a dragon's wing and used as the awning. Um, the trailer is uh, seven foot wide, 14 feet long, and six and a half feet tall. That's the dimensions. Uh, inside uh, you, is a queen size bed, dinette, and lots of storage. 13,000 BTU uh, air conditioner and a uh, max air fan for uh, circulation. The inside is American maple and American walnut. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. We uh, run uh, 15 inch wheels and tires uh, for having good towing. In the rear, the galley is seven foot wide 28 inches deep and in it we use uh, I opt to use uh, natural white gas the old Coleman style I'm kind of old school for that but uh, this is the same year as my wife it was made in 1972 that's that's why this one's in here and um, we have walnut and uh, beech are the woods and this is a laminate called uh, petrified wood we have uh, a three-way fridge but we only hook it up to 110 because of the heat absorption part of it uh, gets pretty wild and 12 volt uh, pulls a lot of amps microwave we are on 110 12 volt we have the uh, USB ports and then we have lots of storage as far as drawers go for utensils and um, this is where you can throw the grandkids if you'd like <laughs> um, 
I am a, I am a, I do a lot of work for everybody and everything. So this, this is a, a need. The Ryobi battery pack. So, um, and then uh, on the other side here, we we also do a lot of boondocking and try to. Uh, and this is our hot water supply. Runs off of a water tank and um, point of service uh, hot water heater. That's where we do our washing. Uh, of our dishes and whatnot, and um, I could hook the water, city water. We have it now, but I prefer to get used to doing the boondocking uh, off grid. And uh, we've had this now for since August, really October. We started building it. Um, yeah, April 2020, and um, but we really got on it in August, October of uh, of 2020. And uh, we've been camping in five different states already, and we really like it. It's for our rainy weather vehicle. Thank, Enjoy. Hey, thanks for thanks for showing up, man, and uh, and all you contribute to the group and everything <laughs> else. I mean, the man is truly a workhorse, and he's always running around here doing something for somebody. So if you ever have the privilege of camping with John and Melody, make sure you stop by and say hi.